Hey, what's going on you guys? It is Michelle. It is Monday, April 4th, and it is week 40 on keto for me. Let's go ahead and jump on into my weigh-in from earlier today. Hey you guys, it's Monday, April 4th, and I'm going to do my weigh-in. 175.8 Okay, so this morning I weighed in at 175.8, and that is not down very much, but um... It is down 3.8 pounds from two weeks ago, um, that weigh-in. From two weeks ago, if you guys remember, um, I was up, I believe it was 1.4 pounds. So um, it's not that I really lost 3.8 pounds, I kind of just lost the weight that I had gained previously, and plus like a little bit more. So for the entire month, so let's say from now, the past month, um, I lost 2.4 pounds, which is really not consistent with the way that I have been losing weight this whole entire time but I'm trying not to beat myself up about it because I'm doing everything right um, the only thing I'm not doing is working out which I'll get into in a minute but um, I'm doing my food right I lowered my calories 200 which I'm not really sure if I really should have I did go over a couple times but um, I really stayed below 18 1850 which is what my previous um, target was for my calories since I'm still breastfeeding my daughter but it's kind of hard for me because uh, right now I'm at a certain point to where my daughter is 14 months so she's just over a year I still plan on breastfeeding her until she's about two years old but um, I'm not really sure how this is going to affect my weight loss because I have to maintain a certain amount of calories to produce enough breast milk to feed my daughter and if I go and go hardcore and like start working out a whole ton and lower my calories then I won't produce any breast milk because then my body will you know try to take those calories and use them for energy which I believe what was happening in the beginning when I was working out, like just walking basically. So um, I still want to do, sorry I'm touching my hair like a whole ton, it's sticking on my lip gloss. You know, girl, first world problems, but anyways. Um, okay, so 2.4 pounds in the last month, not that great, but you know, it's down so I'm really happy about that. Like I can't be mad at myself, I'm doing everything I can, especially after losing these 80 pounds. Well, how much is that total? I don't even know, 175? So I've lost about 80, almost 83 pounds, like 82.2 pounds, I believe. But um, anyhow, um, if you guys have any channel recommendations, I can't go to the gym. Like, I can't go. What I really want to do is tone up my legs. I don't know if any of you guys um, have seen my Instagram, but I posted a picture kind of showing how I have loose skin. And it didn't really show it that well because the sun was beaming into my room, but it you could definitely see, I, and by the way, like how many times did I said definitely in my last video, oh my god, okay. Any loser, let's move on. If you guys have any channel recommendations for me, like somebody that is always at home, I do have weights, I don't have a squat rack, which is something that I really, really want, because in my mind, like if I have the things that I need to succeed, like I will go to my other room and do squats, you know, that sort of thing. I just feel so unmotivated not having um, a squat rack or something that's going to get me excited to work out, you know what I mean? So I need to get over it because the squat rack is not going to happen right now, especially because I can't, I, since I haven't been able to sell my treadmill. Um, I just really feel unmotivated to work out. I really want to. I need to. Like that's like the one thing that I know is going to really help me as far as like my body goes and the look of my body goes and all that sort of thing. But um I just feel unmotivated. So if you guys know any really good YouTube channels that I can watch that do like at home workouts or anything like that. If you guys have a channel, just link, well not link it, but um, yeah, I guess you can link things down in the bottom. But comment it down below so I can go check out those channels because I really have been binging on watching fitness channels, even though like they don't do my sort of diet. I still am subscribed to other, you know, fitness channels and diet channels just because I like to see other people's approaches to losing weight and toning their body. Um, but a lot of people that I see on YouTube don't have a whole bunch of kids or have, you know, a family to take care of. So just let me know, please, down below if there's any sort of fitness channels that you guys really, really like. Um, I'm focused more on weight training, not cardio. So I don't like any sort of stepping and no cardio type of stuff because what I'm really wanting to focus on right now is strength training. But yeah, so I'm just really having a hard time balancing 
my breastfeeding calories because I know that since I've lost so much weight at this point, my calories should be a lot lower than they are, I'm sure, if, to be in weight loss mode. I think I'm eating more towards maintenance, being at like 1,800 and 1,600. That's why my weight loss has slowed down so much. That's what I'm thinking, because I'm still being ketogenic. I'm still on the lifestyle, haven't cheated at all. Um, I've been doing really great. Um, no low carb ice cream. Oh my god, you guys should be so proud of me because I'm like obsessed with that stuff. And since I've talked to you, I haven't had any, so it's been quite a while. My mom had her freezer packed and I still didn't even um, ask for any of hers or anything like that. So yay for me. Oh, also, if you guys have seen my Instagram, I made some yummy, yummy, yummy buttery biscuits. I got a recipe off of Pinterest. I found it on Pinterest and I did two minor adjustments to the recipe. I basically just changed the cheese and the, they say to melt the butter before putting it into the recipe but I left my butter ice cold and kind of pulsed it in my Nutribullet which kind of like was kind of harsh on my Nutribullet so I believe next time I do it I'm going to do it in my food processor just to because I, I might do a double batch because my mom really wants them and they're freaking amazing they're buttery biscuits they're almond flour biscuits but and they're not eggy at all they're so good like the best I've tried this far and I've been doing this diet for like nine or ten months so and in this diet you don't really you eat so much fat that there's really not a whole lot to prepare if you keep veggies prepped and on hand then that kind of stuff is really really simple and that's really good because you need your fiber you need your veggies you need your greens you don't want to do all your carbs as dairy and um, basically um, like sugar substitutes and um, almonds and stuff like that. You want to keep your carbs mostly veggies if you can. Um, this is a lifestyle thing so it's not going to be veggies every single day. You're going to want treats. You're going to want to make an almond flour or fathead pizza or like a cauliflower crust pizza or something like that which is veggies you know but a ton of cheese. I'm trying to kick back on my cheese so you guys probably noticed that if you look through my fitness pal. So that's my weight loss. I'm still on a steady pace. I am 175.8. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. I am so close to my goal weight right now. My focus isn't even to get to 150. It's to stop being a lazy ass and to get myself working out every day. Just do some body weight lunges, squats. I need to do that. So please help me, you guys. If you guys are pretty much on the wagon for exercise like help a sister out because I really fail at exercise so I have commitment issue with exercise and I'd really like to change that so please help me you guys comment down below any suggestions you have but anyways that's all I have for you guys right now I am going to be doing my buttery biscuit recipe next and probably a full day of eating soon but anyways thanks for watching you guys Thanks for tuning in to this video. I really appreciate it. Um, like and subscribe. Share the video if you want. Uh, send over your friends if they're looking for a change in diet and something that's really easy to maintain if you're a foodie like me. But um, anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.